What is up guys, HPFC here and welcome back to the getaway, so we're on mission 11, the prodigal son, this one, um, yeah, this one's pretty damn hard. Oh, you've been a bad boy. You betrayed my trust, Mark. There's one thing I can't stand, it's a man who don't keep his word. In the right, Yasmin. Didn't quite manage it, did you, darling? I think you were losing your touch or uh, got your mind on other things, maybe. Get on with it, Jolson. You've always been a drama queen. Why haven't you just clipped us? Yeah, Charlie. The suspense is killing me. Really, children? There's nothing that would give me more pleasure. However, I've got bigger fish to fry. You see, everyone in this town, including my imbecile nephew, thinks I've gone soft. Come and write soft toucher, a regular pushover. I've got the baboons all over North London running guns doing crack. The fucking locusts with their smack in Chinatown. The fucking Colin boys nonces mussing on the skin trade. All on my manor. My fucking manor! Mine for 20 glorious years. They think they can eat away at me like cancer, piece by piece. And I'll sit on my fat ass twiddling my thumbs. Well, they're wrong, ain't they? That's right, Charlie. I bet I'm jumping through hoops. It's been a fucking bloodbath. It's all down to you, my son. <laughs> well, now I've got all them cockroaches down to a manageable level, I'm gonna find a bone. A little ray of hope from soft old Uncle Charlie. Unfortunately, my son, it's gonna be you. Mark, the prodigal return. The bad boy that's burned up half of London. <laughs> Eyebrows, you the river, and the bomb, <laughs> good. We're all set for a little meeting then. So what with a fucking bomb? We're still with lads, now to extend some invitations. Why? This is Charlie Jolson, I'd like to speak to Mr. Lee. Charlie Jolson, one lay here. I have a second or one of them here. Charlie Jolson. Oh, you've been having a spot of trouble with the blacks and those wangers from Soho. Or in the spirit of racial cooperation, I'm going to give you the boy that's been causing you all this strife. You fucking bastard, Jolson. <laughs> yeah, he's Mark Hammond. You know the fella. One of college's old boys. Who? Mark Hammond? Right. I'm sure you'll be interested in having a word with him. Mark Hammond? You bet your fucking balls I would. That's a fucking spirit. We'll sort out a cushy little meeting point, and I'll get back to you in the hour. We'll give him a proper little send-off. Just remember, this is an exclusive fucking engagement. You get one guest only. I don't want any of your heavies. What about this secret shit, Charlie? The boys are bringing down at the party. I want one of our marking his new pair of crumpets to miss this one. It's gonna be a blast. <laughs> Come on, let's go and lay the table. <laughs> Now I'm truly fucked. I've committed every crime known to man to get my boy back. And I'll find out I was just a pawn in that mad maniac scheme. Those fucking dry boys are really gonna enjoy feeding me to the fish. You did better than most. Looks like everyone underestimated you. It's me who's messed this up. I'm supposed to be good at this, remember? Instead I've been caught like a rat in Charlie's trap. Yeah, well at least you tried. At least I had one other person on my side. I just wish I had a little more time to spend with Alex before. I've been banged up for nearly all his life, and when I finally get out, this shit happens. I saw your kid. You did? How was he? Was he okay? He was okay. He'd been crying, but apart from that, he was all right. He must look like his mum. Because he doesn't look much like you. I only saw him for a second anyway, before of Charlie's high-tech shit came crashing down around me. You did better than I did. I didn't even get close. That fat slag will probably blow up half of London and I'll take a rap for that as well. Oh, you're breaking my heart. Are you two just going to sit there feeling sorry for yourselves or do you want to stop that little Hitler? I know you. 
You're that copper from the prison van bust. He's filth, Mark. Frank Carter of the Flying Squad. That's right. And only fucking choice you've got right now if you don't want to end up wasting away in the nick. Yeah? Well, why's a bill want to help me? You can make a name for yourself just by turning me in. I know what he's up to, Hammond. I heard the whole thing. I need you alive to ruin his plan. You're no good to me dead. Besides, you wouldn't last a night in the cells of this town. Not after Snow Hill. Don't trust him, Mark. He's filth. Look, as it is, I'm a dead man. And so is my boy. You give it to me straight, Carter. What do you want? I'll take that as an agreement for now. For now you're working for me, you do what I tell you. Don't fucking do it. Everybody knows he's just obsessed with Nick and the Jolsons. You get me out of here. You let me and her get my kit to safety. And I'll do whatever you want. Whatever it takes, Carter. Are you in? I'll help you, but don't trust him. He's no better than Charlie. That's good enough for me. Right, I'm gonna blast this door. When I do, I'll break loose upstairs. I'll try and cover you from up the hall. Take this shooter and try and get out. Remember the kid's still at Charlie's Gap, but you better hurry. Call me on this number when you've got him. I'll cut Jake off. Remember, Hammond, you owe me. You owe me your life. Get one thing straight, Carter. I want Jolson as much as you do, but we'll get my boy to safety first, all right? OK, Hammond. Now stand back. I'm going to blast this door. All right, gonna shoot his way out of here. Ready. I'm gonna get a gun first. Don't worry about Carter. He hates Jolson as much as you do. Get this gun. Oh. Okay, I'm on it. I need you to cover me, Hammond. Okay, that AK. Quite a lot of guys up here. God, sometimes the all aim is just absolute garbage. Using to lock on. Jesus. Might be a sneaky guy gonna pop out around here. Yeah. It's not it's, it's not locking on at all. What the hell? Hammering it friggin' R1 and it's just like fuck you. Look, yes, just get in the car, will ya? I'll be able to drive for a little while without having to worry about cops as long as I don't get too reckless with me driving, but try to pull be on us before long and then it'll all get messy as usual. It'll be a pain as well because I have to switch car, no doubt I will. So you gotta watch out that Yasmin don't get herself killed, which she's very good at doing. Sometimes she just refuses to get in the car and tries like taking on like five guys at once and yeah. She can be a real bitch. Not in my details. 
Here we go. It's gonna get annoying. God, don't want to be getting trapped down on one of these streets. It's the last thing I want. God, I'm in. Oh god. Smashed. Ugh. Now, Yasmin, do not get yourself killed, I swear to God. I'm the only one that's going to be killing you if anyone is. Right, Yasmin, Yasmin, stop shooting and get in the goddamn car. Yasmin! Yasmin! You see what I mean? She just refuses to get in. Yasmin! so much. Jesus oh, again down the street. my lights again. Going to run out the bleeding way. Oh, Jesus. Switch because I don't want the vehicle setting on fire. That will be the death of uh, Yasmin. Oh, we're taking no, tires are bust. We're taking this. My tip will want me to reverse and smash me uh, light straight away. Really, people? Really? Oh, 
Somewhere to you. Still with the pigs. All right. This is the uh, really hard part. Follow me, but be careful. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. Can be unbelievably frustrating. What kind of security? Go ahead. Careful, Mark. There's lasers. Yeah. Got to avoid these lasers. All right, we can easily just uh, actually. Pressure pads on the floor. Turn them on and off. All right. One of the annoying things is what makes it so hard is the the dodgy controls and the camera. If you hit the lasers, they release gas, and you're pretty much dead. So, hey, what happened? Oi! Right, so we'll have uh, guys to deal with in between getting through the lasers. Shotgun. I think we have a couple of guys up here. That's right. This time you're going down. About three. the wall so we can sneak through. Another guy up top on the balcony. Oh, and a guy below as well. Yasmin, do us all a favor and shut your goddamn mouth. Right, let's go. Sometimes they just appear as all right in front of you. Yeah, as Yasmin said. Gotta roll under. A couple coming down the steps now, I think. Boom. Gonna get stupid. Completely blocked off there on the left. It's not getting through them. Let's behind us through this doorway and then through this doorway. All right. and again, the controls—they just make this so much more awkward than it needs to be. Sometimes um, auto aiming is a good way to get the camera facing which way you want. All right, let's roll under that. Now for this, this is awkward to pull off. We need to sort of roll under this one and try and pin ourselves against the wall but try not to go left-ish whereas you'll hit those lasers which often is what often happens and it's very annoying so let's try this there we go that works that can be that's a tricky one that I've that's I've failed that one many times in the past Ken right. Mark it's Go to the next. The 
again, blocked off on the left. Alright, <laughs> this is a real freaking cheap one, this, right. Slowly move forward. Boom! Then it'll appear both behind you directly in front of you. And I read your multiple on the first time, like I did. They're just sort of going to run forward into this room and straight into those lasers when they appear. That's just evil doing that. Alright, we're going to pin ourselves against the wall. Those are real pins, I thought, you know, the dogs there playing uh, snooker. So I uh, remember seeing it in a pub once years ago, and one of my friends used to live down the road in the town I used to live in. I think his parents had it up in the front room. Right, roll under that. And that. And Mark's decided he's going to pin himself against the wall. Don't do that, Mark. Alright. And we need... A very, very, very awkward sort of diagonalish roll through here. Into that one as well. Alright. Don't need to be able to run up. And roll! Alright. Alright, that's the set done. Shit. I think we're nearly done. Alright, we've got directly in front of us. Here. Roll. Roll. Oi, unlucky. Oh, you what? Huh? Being very uncooperative with the controls. Right, it's all time to get over there. Roll! Actually, I didn't want to roll on this side, did I? Wasting your time, Emma. Oh, this camera. This camera is unbelievable. I'm trying to turn around here and he's just not having it. Yes, I was going to end up getting killed. Right, can I just sort of sneak down here? Yep, yeah, just about. So close to walking into that. Controls are so not suited to this sort of thing. What were they thinking? You'll know what I mean if you've played this game with the controls. They just don't work. I think that's it for all the lasers. Yeah, okay. Oh, God. I'll admit, got a bit of a sweat on uh, right there. Because that, oh, that can be just... Like, your first time through, that is just one frustrating um, mission there at the end with the lasers. It's a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. I got quite lucky in a few places there. That could have easily uh, gone wrong. So, break. Hey, that one's done. And, uh, well, the next mission uh, is the final mission of uh, Mark Hammond's. Um, story and it's in my opinion without a doubt the hardest mission in the game I'm not looking forward to it oh god anyway guys as always thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time